Hi, it's Sheila January. I'm going to be your judge this year in Lambtown for the Sheep to Shawl and the Skein and Finished Article competition. And I'm really looking forward to being there. I am first going to say that as a judge, it's important to adhere to all the rules and specifications for each of the competitions. I've reviewed those from the past. I'll be reviewing the, the 2024 rules immediately before the competition. And I'm going to focus a little bit on the sheep to shawl because I think that's where there's more things that many more things that can be looked at in the judging. And I want to let you know what I'll be looking at. I've judged in a number of competitions, state fairs, local fairs, county fairs, sheep to wool, sheep and wool shows and conferences. So I, I have done this before and I try to be absolutely as fair and critical as I can be while certainly the quality is expected to be very high. So I will say the first thing I'm going to look at is going to be the weaving. After I look at the overall characteristics of the shawl, shawls are an important part of our wardrobe and it's important that they have characteristics that make them easy to wear and attractive to the wearer. So the drape, possibly the shine, depending on what kind of materials were used, and the color and design are very important and all of that leads to an overall visual appeal. The weaving is much more technical. In the weaving, we're going to, I'm going to be looking at things like selvages, evenness of the weave beading, evenness of the weaving, the fell line, and certainly the fringe, whether it be knotted or left loose or possibly twisted. All of those things are going to affect not just the appearance, but the wearability of the shawl. As far as the spinning goes, Spinning is extremely important because that's where the basis of your warp and your weft are going to come from. The warp, as we know from the specifications, can be either hand-spun or commercial. If hand-spun, there will certainly be consideration given to this as part of the competition. The warp and weft don't need to necessarily be the same weight, but if they're not the same weight, be sure that that contributes to the design. The plying is very important, as well as the spinning of the singles. The spinning of the singles will be done generally by the team, and the plying done by one person who can then adjust the various singles to meet the specifications of the overall shawl, and also to even out any unevenness that might possibly have occurred. And certainly the grist and weight of the yarn is important to keep in mind to have what your finished product is meet the, your goals when you were doing it. And as far as visual appeal, I'll go back to that because in the end, so many times, so many of the entries are really wonderful and it's very hard to, to pick a ju and judge between them. Visual appeal will always be the final contributing factor because that's what the public's gonna see, that's what the wearer is gonna be aware of, and it's a very important part of the competition. So with those things in mind, I look forward to seeing your shawls and being present for the actual judge, the actual competitions that are done in person and seeing the shawls and hearing your videos for the virtual competition. Thank you.